Hi, good morning, welcome back to Mike Makes It. In a previous video, I demoed the use of the MJJC Foam Cannon Pro, and I was very impressed with it. MJJC have now reached out to me and asked if I'd like to try their Foam Cannon version 3. Now this has been supplied free of charge from MJJC, but the review I'm going to give you is going to be totally unbiased, one way or the other, good or bad. So we'll get into it. Let's open the box. Fairly well packaged. It came all the way from China, arrived very, very quickly. At the moment, it's not available on Amazon, but you can buy it directly from MJJC uh, from China. I'll link everything in the description, so it'll all be there for you. You get a nice set of operating instructions, all in English. Tells you how to set it up, how to use it. Uh, contact details for MJJC if you need to get hold of them. And we put that to one side. Nice, uh, I believe it's a silicon pipe, very, very flexible with a stainless steel ball on the end. Now, basically, that'll dangle in the bottom of the container. Uh, so, almost doesn't matter what angle you're at. Within, If you're upside down, it's not going to work. But you can incline the, the washer to different angles and it'll still pick up the fluid from uh, the container here. Slightly comparing it to the Foam Cannon Pro, it's the same capacity. You'll see it's a different color plastic. And one thing I'm not concerned about, but the Foam Cannon Pro has a bigger base than the new one, the version three. So it's possible it's gonna tip over a little bit easier, but it's still got a large base on here, so I don't think we'll have a problem. It'll take one, uh, one liter or a thousand milliliter capacity of the mixed fluid. MJJC in a previous video also supplied this, their MJJC foam foam liquid basically it's about a 10 to 1 solution i'll put 900 milliliters of water in here to 100 milliliters of their solution and we'll basically see how well it foams i specified a karcher pressure washer adapter they sell many many different ones on the website i'm sure they'll have one that's going to fit your pressure washer and there's the main operation of the uh, system there brass and plastic plastic feels lovely same as the, uh, the, the, the the Pro, but, the, you know, what, what can I say? The quality is very, very good. It, it's not got that plastic feel, horrible, cheap plastic feel. So I think the quality is uh, superb. Uh, no problem with that at all. Got no problem with the corrosion because it's made of brass. Simple. Uh, there's a seal in there that'll give you a watertight, and we'll test it, don't worry watertight seal a little bit different to how um, the previous cannon connected it's more bayonet connector going on but we'll we'll check for the sealing there you go there's a little as i say you saw the pipe previous but there's um, an orifice here um, a smaller nozzle basically a bit of brass with hole in it depending on the pressure of your pressure washer you may have to swap that out and you do that with a flat bladed screwdriver Simply unscrew this and put in a new one. But I'd suggest you try this first to make sure it's foaming okay. Um, if it is foaming, leave it alone. You don't have to touch it. You'll see there's a pin there. If you pop that out, these two pieces separate. And within there, there's a stainless steel filter or gauze, which you can remove and clean. Now, on the previous Canon, a spare one was supplied. This time, we don't have it but I haven't had need to open the, the Pro at all. Uh, in the UK, the water supply is very, very clean. Uh, that may be down, you know, that's great. Um, possibly if you're in an area where the water isn't so clean, um, non-UK sort of residents, so to speak, I'm dealing with, you might have to clean that a little bit more often, but I haven't had to touch it. Density of foam is a twiddly knob on the top. The foam will come out of here. I'm reliably informed those two metal plates form the blabber. And that will form the shape of the foam as it comes out. We'll, we'll test this in practice. But you can see I can close up. If I hold in the blue section, turn the white, that will close up. And that will give you a bigger spray. Uh, it will close the foam spray up. Have it fully open, you're going to get probably more of a circle close it up, more of a flat wave is going to come out of there. 
if you just turn the blue section you can alter the angle of the blabber so if you want horizontal or vertical uh, shape of the foam coming out that's what you do and you can use those in conjunction you have sideways any way you like it's 360 degrees so you can turn the way you want to but yeah we'll fire this up i'll do the the correct mix 10 to 1 ratio with with their own foam although um in the in the previous video on the pro canon pro i used the demon foam and that did work well because i couldn't get hold of this at the time i think it's probably available on amazon now the foam canon pro is still available for about 60 pound on amazon as i say currently this unit isn't and that's about 89 dollars off uh, the chinese website mjjc direct so anyway let's get foaming let's get it on the truck let's see what happens all right let's have a go i'll show you the blabber adjustment and how much you can adjust it is really good <laughs> from a jet to really, really fanned out. And of course you can do that with it. So that's probably optimum like that. Let's get it on the truck. I usually use the maximum output, you know, flat out on the car. It seems to work the best. So let's give it a go. <laughs> This is set to maximum. <laughs> it's like cottage cream, so it's very, very thick. Go about halfway down. It is a lot thinner. But it's still putting foam on, on the car. But what I think I'd like to use is the absolute thicker, thickest setting, which I believe is there. <clears throat> I believe wrong. Fully clockwise. There. It's going down quite quick on the foam liquid, but it remember it's 10 to 1 ratio, so I've not used a lot of the foam in liquid to, to the water, so not that expensive. Let's put it down on a lower setting on the pressure washer. With the pro foamer, it didn't foam so well, but let's just try it. Well, that's very nearly just as good. So that's a plus. Let's go back to max. It's going to be pressure washer dependent, but you're going to get through more liquid when it's on the, the higher setting. So I'll go down to setting number one. Oh, that's absolutely adequate. So we're going to um, save on the liquid that way. So. I don't know if that's coming across on the camera. I don't think I think it's too dark. But I'm on setting one. There's six settings on the Karcher. We're just two notches up for minimum. So, yeah, that really does foam well. I would say better than the Pro as well. So a couple of other things I've noticed on this. I'll take you in the garage and we'll have a little look. Right, foaming over. A couple of points. This assembly, that where the adapter fits for, for my Karcher, for instance, very mechanically, very, very good. You've got a nice O-ring. Let's take this off. There's an O-ring in here. Brass fitting into brass fitting. Uh, so as I said earlier, you're not going to get corrosion issue. And it seals really, really well. It doesn't leak at all, even if this is loose. 
And what I found, just with my hands, I can't get this tight enough without it becoming loose. Doesn't matter if it did, because you got that O-ring, so it still seals very, very well. So I might have to get a pair of mold grips and carefully just nip that up. That's one point. Other point is, I've mentioned already, the base is a little bit smaller than this one, the Pro. So this potentially could be prone to sliding over, falling over when you put them on the ground. So, you know, you put it down there, you've still got it connected to the pressure washer. There could be more of a tendency for it to fall over. I haven't had that problem because normally I'll wedge it up against the wall anyhow. But, you know, dynamically speaking, you different diameter there, you could have an issue. And I said about it leaking, like if it tipped over. There's not a lot of water in there now. If there was, you'd see it coming out of here. There's a little weep hole. You can see there's there's liquid here. So if it did tip over, it will leak. It's meant to, all right? It's not a fault of the, of the machine or the device. There's a little weep hole there that corresponds to a hole in the base here. And the idea of that, I believe, instead of these pressure release uh, seals here, so if this assembly got blocked here, rather than the whole base exploding, these would pop out. Now, MJJC have engineered those out by putting the little hole there. So if, for instance, this gets blocked up for whatever reason, uh, pressure would be released through here before this explodes on you. So um, those, that's, if, if you want to call them downsides, that's the only issues I've seen with the device. But apart from that, I like the bayonet lock. That's just click, done, away we go. Similar application of turning the foam up and down on here, as you saw when I was using it. The blabber works perfectly. Um, you get a really good spray of foam, <clears throat> which, which is obviously good. But the main thing is, I can turn my pressure washer down. to. Th the, 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 my carch has got six settings of pressure. If I have it on setting number two, this gives me more foam than this device did on six. So I think I'm going to use less liquid, less foaming liquid when I'm actually using this device. So that's a real plus. But yeah, overall, can't fault the mechanics. It's a superb build. Uh, using with the MJJC foam, 10 to one mix, absolutely great as well. I may well go on and use, um, I'm trying to think of the name now, I did mention it before, I got an, another foam liquid, which works okay. Demon foam, that's the word I was looking for, um, which is readily available in the UK. So th that works fine in here, again, with the same ratio. So. so in conclusion, if you're looking for a foaming device for your truck, bus, plane, whatever, MJJC foam can in version three should be towards the top of your list. It's performed really, really well today and this will now be my go-to foaming gun when I go to clean the trucks and the cars. Faultless, really, really good, very happy with it. Top-notch quality. Brass plastic fittings, all spankingly top rate. So, yeah, that would do. Looking for a Christmas present next year for somebody, they'll be well happy to receive that. Well, I'll put all the links and all the other information I have for this uh, in the comments, so please have a look at that. If you enjoyed the video, uh, thumbs up would be great. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.